Us like that. Play. You want us to play with you? We've got no time to play. Sorry, but we have to go home. It's an emergency. Well, we'll play some other time. Look at the carriages. Every king and queen must be here. What's going on? Let's go in and find out. I'm afraid it's true. There are drylanders everywhere. Right now they surround Salacia on all sides. Never before have so many come so close. This is very serious. We could be in danger. We don't know what they're doing, but I hope to receive more information and... Ah, oh, here we are. Hmm. What does it say? Yes, tell us. It seems that a large floating carriage of the drylanders has been wrecked. Oh, dear, dear. Many drylanders have been rescued, but some are still missing. So the drylanders are searching for their lost people? No wonder there were so many floating carriages. If we help find them, then the other drylanders will go away. But that could be very dangerous. What if one of them sees us? We need a plan. And quickly. Well, yes. Why don't we do something? Like what? Like help find these lost drylanders. How? We'll figure a way. Come on. Can't waste a moment. We have to get there fast. But Esther, where are we going? Isn't it obvious? It would be if you gave us a clue. We'll start where we were this morning. Oh, why there? Because that's where all the drylanders were. They must be there for a reason. Hmm, what do you think? Hmm, well, I can't think of a better idea. Okay, so let's stop talking and get going. Esther's in one of her determined moods. That usually means we end up in trouble. Should we try to talk her out of this? And miss all the fun? No way! Most of the drylanders were searching over that way. But we have to be careful. The water gets shallow there. They might see us. Somebody's already seen us. Who? <laughs> oh, him again? We can't waste time with him. We won't. Didn't we tell you? We haven't got time to play today. Besides which, it's too dangerous for you around here. So please, go home. Go on. We'll play with you another day. Right. Let's find those lost drylanders. Cool. What is that? Do you see it? We saw it, Esther. And it was about to see us. We have to be very careful. Okay, okay. What does he want? Looks like he's signaling. Oh, maybe he's seen something. I'll check him out. Hello there. What's the problem? You have? Could you show us? What is it, Polvina? I'm not sure, but he wants us to follow him. Okay, lead the way. In there? Are you sure? Okay, we'll check it out. But you go back. It's dangerous for you around here. Thank you! What did he say, Polvina? There's something in that cave. Something strange. Looks a bit spooky. 
What sort of something? He wasn't sure. He thought it was a dry land thing. We better have a quick look then. But go slowly. And be careful! What do you think it is? It's a dry land carriage. It doesn't look very dangerous. <laughs> it's a baby drylander. We scared the poor thing. Come on, let's calm him down. Oh, shh. Please don't cry. It's all right. We won't harm you. Why would a baby drylander be on his own? Maybe his parents put him here to save him when their floating carriage was wrecked. And he must have drifted away before anyone could stop him. You do know we're showing ourselves to a drylander. But he's only a baby. It's not like he can tell anybody about us. The drylanders will keep searching for him till they find him. They'll never find him in here. But the longer they keep looking, the more chance they have of discovering our kingdoms. Then let's push him out so they can see him. But what if they don't see him? He could float way out into the ocean. What else can we do? Take him to dry land ourselves? Good idea, Tuberina. That's exactly what we'll do. We can't do that. What if we're seen? We'll just have to make sure we're not. Oh, what do you think, Polvina? I guess if we take him ourselves, we'll know he'll be safe. Exactly. Oh. Don't worry about a thing, little friend. We're taking you home. He might not understand our language, but he sure knows what we mean. The drylanders are gone. They must be searching somewhere else. Good. That'll give us time to get him to safety. There's a beach not far from here. How's the baby? Fast asleep. Perfect. Okay, push, everyone. Oh no! Look who's back! Oh, he is becoming seriously annoying! Why can't he play with someone else? Forget him, will you? Push harder! <laughs> Look at all those drylanders, will you? How can we get him to shore without them seeing us? Easy! We push this thing towards the beach, and the waves will take it the rest of the way. We can't do that. It might overturn, and the baby will be thrown out. So what do we do then? Whatever we do, let's do it quickly. But what idea? How long will the baby be asleep? Mm -hmm. mm, not long enough. Oh, oh, not you again. I told you, we can't play now. Please. Go back home. Wait a minute. Drylanders are scared of sharks, right? So? So maybe he could distract them. What good would that do? Well, while they're watching him, we could sneak the baby onto shore. Polvina, that's brilliant. What do you think, Tuberina? I think we have a plan. Okay, friend. You want to play? So let's play. I hope this works. It has to work. Okay, here's our game. You see all those drylanders on the beach? Your job is to make them notice you. Then see if you can get them to chase you. But be careful and don't let them get too close, right? Right. So get out there and be the slickest, smartest shark you can be. Is everything ready? Is he going to do it? We'll soon find out. <laughs> wow, that should get their attention. This is our chance, Esther. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're all looking the other way.
let's get out of here. What about the young shark? Is he safe? He's safe. He's way too smart for those drylanders. It's a pity we didn't get the chance to thank him. We will. I've told him we'll spend all afternoon tomorrow playing with him. Cool. Come on. <laughs> Girls, where have you been? You missed all the excitement. Uh, we did, Father? Didn't you notice all the drylanders searching above us? We did notice that, sir. Apparently, they were looking for a lost child. We had a big meeting to decide what to do. And what was decided, Your Highness? Wouldn't you know it? Just as we made a plan, the drylanders stopped their search. Well, that means they must have found the baby. Exactly. And he was such a cute baby, too. <laughs> I'm only pleased that it's over and everyone is safe. Salations and drylanders. Cute baby? Oh, how did you know? Oh, no. Must be hearing things. <laughs> Esther, you and your mouth are such big trouble. I didn't mean it. You never do. That's the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Polvina, I'm listening. After you put the one at the top, you've got to subtract that number there to get that number there. What? Since when did we start doing mathematics? Since half an hour ago. Oh, we did? Tiberina, you have to concentrate. Otherwise, you'll never pass the test today. Yes, I will. You just have to tell me the secret. What secret? Why, you're the best in the class, but I only just passed. It's just hard work. I knew there was a catch. But you always work hard at things outside of school. Just do the same for things in school. Whatever way you look at it, it's still hard work. If you need help, Tata, we'll be there. Thanks, Esther. Tata's discovered some drylanders have been trapping turtles. No way. We've got to stop them. We will. But first, we've got a test to do. I still think there must be an easy way to get good grades. If you find it, then tell me right away. Oh, my goodness. Girls, please watch where you walk. Sorry, Miss Marla. Oh, dear, the test papers. We'll get them. Polvina. Tuberina. Are you okay? I think. Oh, me too. Are you certain? It was nothing, Miss Marla. Nothing at all. All right, then. If you're sure. Let's hurry along, though. We do have a test to begin. Who wants to hurry for that? Well done, everyone. I graded the test we all did yesterday, and everybody passed. Yay! 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 And everybody... Attention, please, there was one truly outstanding result. One of you achieved 100%. Way to go, Polvina! Congratulations, Tuberina. Say who? Yes, you, Tuberina, very well done. That's amazing. Double amazing. How did you do it? No idea. But hey, guess what? I'm the top of the class. I'm the top of the class. Where did I go wrong? It's the lowest mark I've ever had. Don't worry about it. You can't always be on top. But how did Tuberina get 100%? No one's ever got that before. Say, can either of you help me? What's up, Tata? I need to find Tuberina. What for? Those drylanders have trapped more turtles. I need help to work out a plan. We'll help. Thanks. But this needs someone really smart. We're smart too, you know, just because we didn't get 100% on a test. I know, but I'd still like to find Tuberina. This needs the best brains around. Can you believe this? Suddenly everyone thinks Tuberina is a genius. How did you do it, Tuberina? How did you get 100%? What's the secret? <sighs> There is no secret. It's just about one thing. Hard work. But I've never seen you work, Tuberina. I have so too. 
You should have seen me in the library before the test. What well, it was work, 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 work. Wow. Is that the real Tuberina? Maybe she's changed. Maybe she is going to work hard to be a better student. Maybe, but I'll believe it when I see it. What are you doing, Polvina? It's recess. Come and play. I've got to start working hard again. There's lots of reasons why you didn't do as well as Tuberina on this test. Such as? Like, oh, what about the bump on the head? What about it? Maybe the bump made your brain go fuzzy for a while. It could have. But it didn't hurt Tuberina. She got 100%. Explain that. You're right. She did, didn't she? And you got 50%. Do you have to keep reminding me about that? You got the mark she normally gets, and she got the mark you normally get. Esther, drop it, please. (gasps) I've got it! Got what? After school, come straight to the Starfish Palace. I'll get Tuberina to come, too. Esther? I know what happened. It's crystal clear. What is? Why, you got 100% on the test, and you just passed, which is the exact opposite of what normally happens. We're listening. When you two bumped your heads, you swapped part of your personalities. We what? It's obvious, isn't it? Not to me. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Then can you come up with another explanation for why you both changed so quickly? Well, uh... You see, it's the only thing that fits. Well, I really don't care what caused it. I like getting 100% on a test. I want to stay like this forever. Think what you could be losing. The normal Tuberina is brave and strong. She's not afraid of anything. Well, I can still be like that. Can't I? Sorry. If you've become Polvina, then that's who you are. You can't be Tuberina as well. I'm not saying I believe it. But if we did swap personalities when we bumped heads, what do we do? Trust me. (laughs) Ready? Esther? Esther? This is the only way. It's going to hurt. Only for a little while, but think of how good it'll be when you're back to normal. Ready? Oh. Ready. Ready. On my order. Charge! (laughs) Why did you do that? We can't hit our heads together. Not on purpose. It's just a small hit. No! What does she want? We're sorry. We don't speak turtle. You should go see Tata, the turtle princess. But I know her. She's Tata's friend. Oh, Tata might be in trouble. Look at her go. For a turtle to move that fast, Tata must be in trouble. I was trying to free one of the big turtles when I got trapped myself. Not for long. Pull! It's no good. It's locked tight. We have to do something before the drylanders come to collect this trap. That could be any moment. Make that right now! That thing is going to take us away. No. We'll use it to break you out. How? We'll hold down the trap. When the thing lifts it, the trap will break. Here it comes. How do we make it go where we want it to go? I'll do that. It's starting to break. We're safe. We're Thank 
you so much. I didn't think we'd ever get out of there. I didn't think so either until Tuberina's great idea. It was a great idea. The sort of idea Polvino would normally have, right? Don't start that again. We're not bumping heads again. And that was so brave of you, Polvina, to grab that hook? Exactly the sort of thing Tuberina normally did before you know what. <laughs> I've got to help these two get home. I'll see you at school tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> what happened with Tata and the trap just proves what I've been saying. Forget it, Esther. We're not bumping heads again. Just one little clunk. It won't hurt. Well, not much. Oh, really, girls, this is becoming something of a habit. Sorry, Miss Marla. Oh, look at those! Ow! I knew you could do it! Are you all right, girls? Yes, Miss Marla. Actually, I'm pleased we bumped into each other. I need to talk to you. Is anything wrong? Let's go to my cottage. I have something to show you. What's going on? I'm afraid I've made a terrible mistake. What sort of mistake, Miss Marla? I mixed up the test results. In particular, those obtained by two of you. Which two? It was you who got 100% Polvina, and you only just passed Tuberina. Oh, I did? I'm very sorry. I don't blame you if you both feel very angry. That's... that's fantastic, Miss Marla! I can't believe it! Thank you! <laughs> I thought they'd be upset. Actually, I'm a little upset, Miss Marla. You are? I had this brilliant scientific theory about head bumping. Now it's totally kaput. Kaput? <laughs> see you at school, Miss Marla. Yes, see you at school, Esther. So I was wrong. The bump on the head didn't make you swap personalities. It was just a mix-up with the test papers. But explain what happened with Tata. You came up with the idea, Tuberina, and you did the brave thing, Polvina. Just because people act in a certain way most of the time doesn't mean they can't act in other ways at other times. It was nice to be like you for a little while, Polvina. <laughs> And it was nice to be like you for a little while, Tuberina. But you didn't swap personalities, so you were always yourselves anyway. That's right. So does all this mean that I can get 100% on a test too? Of course you can. You just have to know the secret. Which is? That there is no secret. It's just hard work. Aww. Hard work? There's always a catch. You said it. <laughs> the little young friends, they are princesses. The little young friends, they swim in the sea.